Hello and welcome and everybody and I have just managed to successfully duo Zacian with Marta. That's how we're beginning today. A little bit of a Zacian shiny chase but I also wanted to go over October's raids and Dynamax battles and provide hopefully a little bit of a counter guide for all of them. I wanted to get out over the weekend but was unable to do so. So a successful duo is not cloudy boost but it is going to start raining so 2173 isn't too bad. I think it's my best IV I've seen so far. It's not shiny, unfortunately, but of course, I wouldn't mind a hundo of this thing. Thankfully, there is another raid hatching a little way over there. How has your Zacian raid chase been? Let me know in the comments below. It does have its raid hour coming up this week. Of course, you can pop a comment below this video, including your in-game name and your friend code if you want to join for my raid hour stream, which is happening on Wednesday, 6 p.m. BST. Well, we've got some new raid bosses and some reoccurring raid bosses that haven't been in the game for a while, plus the Dynamax tier 3s, especially Phalanx. You need the right counters. There's ours caught in the ball, finally. So... Is it going to be like a 96 or so? 93. Not bad. Oh my god, golem in your face. Somewhere in that direction is the tier 5. So let's make our way over there. But we will go through all of the counters that you're going to need for October. So if you like this sort of content, if you like a bit of Pokemon Go, do consider hitting that subscribe button below for more. Because trust me when I say, October is going to be jam packed so that zacian may not have been a shiny one but over the course of the weekend a few things were so this galarian daramaka finally sparkled in the wild for this event which is awesome i love that shiny i love that pokemon really usable and gonna be possibly a good one versus giratina later in the road however the best pull of the weekend was by far and away this flabebe shiny the red flower which is my first ever one and first ever one outside of a go fest which is crazy it's a random pickup nothing to do with the event of course one of the more difficult shinies to spot until it sparkles but very cool indeed and finally the second glarian ponyta of the event it is a perma booster shiny of course so that's not unexpected but hey we've just had glarian ponyta community day along with the kanto one so what's the harm you can let me know how your shiny hauls have been over the course of this event because there's been some good boosted ones it's time to say ready up Christian's raid and an easy takedown five people let's see what Christian can offer us <laughs> 21 19 just perhaps a German shiny dog is not gonna happen I'm hoping you managed to get it because it is only here until 10 a.m. on October the 4th and then it changes to Zam and Zentai while we wait for that Zacian to hatch and we'll scope campfire for some more let's talk about October's Dynamax battles as I'm sure you may have seen we have the generation 8 starters replacing the Kanto starters I'm very excited about that and Phalanx, which does of course have a shiny potential, is replacing what was Beldum in the tier threes, requiring a bit more max points and a much more challenging elongated battle, shall we say. Now, how are you going to take those down? Well, the starters are as they have been really. It's grass types for the water types, it's water types for the fire types, and fire types for the grass types. Fairly self-explanatory really, but Phalanx you have two options here and one of them i think i mentioned in the previous video is a dynamax charizard with airstream on it so you need a flying type fast move on your dynamax charizard to make that happen for example this one i've got a level 2 max airstream on this 98 percent dynamax charizard that will be a good counter versus phalanx being a fighting type but of course there is one other counter you may have picked up and it's one i have yet to evolve Beldum, of course being a psychic type when you evolve it up to metagross it should learn a psychic type fast move which means you can take it in versus so we're actually going to send that up to dynamax metagross right now because I, I never did it. <laughs> There's nothing too exciting about evolutions, is there, really? There isn't really any need to power them up to level 40 or 50 at the moment. I think the more challenging Dynamax battles, when they come, will require that. But for now, you're perfectly good with whatever is level 20s. Dynamax Metagross finally added into the storage, and will it have... No, it's got Bullet Punch, so let's quickly fast TM that off. So it has Zen Headbutt, and there we go, Max Mindstorm. That is quite a fancy name for a move, and of course, that will be super effective versus Phalanx as well. So you've got two options for Phalanx, and you've got more than enough options for the Generation 8 starters, because they're Tier 1s and very easy to take down. And that should have been me prattling on long enough. There we go. The Zacian's hatched. Let's go with 2134, I think it was. By the way, hope everyone who went over the Inchin Safari Zone had an absolute blast. Honestly, having a little look at it, 
looks incredible. Come on, nice easy trio equals a non-shinny. And it was 2134, I was correct, which obviously is nowhere near the 100%. Maybe a trade will have to come good on Zacian, perhaps. The Zacian is down, but the umbrella is going to have to go up. Was that the hundo? Unless my eyes deceive me, I'm very certain I saw 2188. I think I saw it. This could be a Shundo check, people. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's not shiny, but it is the Hundo. Come on. Oh, yes. I really, really wanted to get this one. One raid after we said we probably wouldn't get it. That is a four-star Zacian right there, people. Of all things to pick up today, I really wasn't expecting a Hundo Legendary. We will get this capture on camera. I completely botched the first throw. Two roll and out. Don't fight me, come on, that is such a good pull. Zacian, still very solid to use in your Master League team, if you're doing that kind of PvP thing. Okay, we'll go for counterclockwise throw now. And, and can I get an excellent? Wait for an attack, like we act professionally. It's not what we, there's the attack. Throw and strike an excellent. This is one of those circumstances. If it is a last ball, I will use a master ball on it. Of course, we have a new master ball research coming on the 4th of October. Straight out on an excellent. There's the attack and throw. Bang, hit the excellent. Not an excellent. What am I talking about? A great and it's out. There's the attack. Throw, strike the excellent again. It's been a while since having a hundo legendary this feisty. There's the attack and throw, hit the excellent. Sort of top left corner. One roll, two roll. And three roll, we got it. Yes, fantastic. That is what we wanted to see out of the Zacian run this week. Brilliant, 2188, we bagged it. That is a brand new 100% legendary into the collection. Could not be more ecstatic with that, unless it was shiny. Let's add it, we will level 50 it when we eventually get the XL Caddy, which should be soon. Hundos ACM people, throw a like down on the video and do subscribe if you are new as well, come on. That's what we're about here, chasing the perfect stats, chasing the shinies and everything. This is the last local Zacian for a fairly long time. So, 2142. That's back, back down to average. <laughs> but thank you everybody who jumped in. There's a nice squad of seven on that one, so maybe we can round out with a shiny. Final strike in it with Sunsteel Strike Necrozma, and it's not a blue dog. Fabulous. I still need the third blue dog. I, I like doing the AR photography where you have three different Pokemon, but if you get three of the same in the shot, it works nicely. We did it with Phalanx, the shiny. If we could do it with Zacian, we need one more. Perhaps the raid hour is going to come good for us, but a critical catch. I love that. 45 XL to get, and yeah, as you can see here, no more tier fives dotted around. So how about we talk about some raid counters? So it's actually been a while since we sat down and talked raid counters, and with the updated raid meta based on that 0.5 second timing, it's worth having a look at. So Zaman Zenta is going to be in the five-star raids from October the 4th, 10 a.m. your local time, through to October the 14th at 10 a.m. your local time, and it's pure fighting type. The counterpart to Zacian will be shiny for the first time ever, making a week to Psychic Flying and Fairy. And shout out to GoHub, it's got exactly the same stats as Zacian. So you're looking for 2188 and 2735 on those stats. But the counters are as follows. So you're worth looking at the flying types, particularly Mega Rayquaza. Shadow Mewtwo is right up there. And there's quite a few other things up there as well. Mega Gardevoir is a good pick. Of course, a Dusk Main Necrozma if you put Psycho Cut on his fast move because Sunsteel Strike is that powerful. You've got Shadow ho -Oh in there. Shadow Salamance if you TM Fly onto it. Dawn Wings Necrozma is up there. And of course, you've got things like Shadow Metagross is still in the meta. If you happen upon a Galarian Articuno, you could utilize that thing. There's quite a few different things you can pick, including Shadow Honchkrow, Shadow Unpheasant. You can go right down through to your Veltau, and there's plenty more other things, but make sure you're utilizing Psychic types and Flying types. Fairy types get left a little bit behind in this new DPS meta because charm is quite a slow move. Moving on to Giratina Origin Form. Now, this is in the raids for about two weeks from October the 14th right through into October the 28th. So this is the majority of the October raid game, a fantastic ghost type raid attacker. You'd be looking for 2105 or 2631. In a rare turnabout of events, this is one of my two legendary raided Shundos, which you go and check out up there if you fancy it. It actually has five weaknesses being a dual dragon and ghost type, so you can take it on 
on with dragon, dark, ghost, ice, and fairy. But once again, fairy is gonna be kind of left in the dust because of the DPS stuff. So you're probably best to go with some dragon and dark types on this one. This ray guy hasn't been updated since Sinnoh Tour. So I'm gonna link this article below in the description if you want to check it out in the pinned comments as well. This is a link that gives you a listing of all the best typed groups counters for raids so if we click on dragon types it's going to bring up the best options for dragon types so you can see it's a it's a wash with megas you've got shadow salamance but this time shadow salamance you're better off using draco meteor due to the new meta compared to outrage much the same with shadow dragonite and you've got all the megas in there you've got the origin forms of dialga and palkia in there the regular forms you've even got haxorus mega septile as a viable counter and all of the regular dragons of Zekrom, even Dracopol, the new one. Now, if we check out the best dark types, Mega Tyranitar and Shadow Tyranitar dominate this meta with Bite and Brutal Swing, but Mega Houndoom, Shadow Weavile, Hooper Unbound, Yveltal still in there, Hydreigon, Darkrai, which will be arriving afterwards. <laughs> but if you're really scraping the barrel in basic counters, Cacturn, Honchcrow, Pangoror and a few others are somewhat viable counters, but again, just make sure you're utilizing the super effective typings. And once again, Darkrai, this guide hasn't been updated yet since Sinotaur, so the 100%ers being 2136 and 2671 in its foggy weather, good luck if you find that, but it is a pure dark type. Pure dark type makes it weak to fighting fairy and bug, and that's where fighting types are going to dominate the counter list. In here, you've still got Mega Lucario being the absolute top dog on this one. Terrakion's still somewhat there. I'm surprised to see Keldeo isn't in the mix. Shadow Conkelder and Shadow Machamp are very viable ones, but you've of course got the other Megas in there. Hisu and Decidueye is hysterically in there as well. Regular Lucario, and then you can get down to the likes of regular Conkelder and Machamp and all that sort of stuff. Breloom, if you're really struggling, Annihilate is still in there, and Marsh Shadow if you've got a decent one. So Fighting Types versus Darkrai at the end of the month, which is October the 28th, 10 a.m. your local time, through to I think November the 4th. Even a Galarian Zapdos with double fighting moves. <laughs> is somewhere down the counter list. So I hope that has helped some of you out there in terms of getting prepared for what is coming up tomorrow, October the 1st. I am very excited. It's got some really good events as well as some great raid bosses and a new wave of Dynamax battles, which are going to be out for tomorrow for a little video. Plus, people, we have Pidove Spolayow, which is a good shiny. It's the London shiny, I like to think of it. And it's a very cheap evolved Pokemon if you want to potentially get some XP from the basic way of evolving stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and that is actually going to be the end of the Legendary Heroes event concluding tomorrow, 10 a.m. your local time. I think it is. Before we go, massive thank you to every single person on the Patreon squad who really are the bedrock, the backbone of what we're able to do here. We wouldn't be able to continue producing content live streams, which we're going to do tomorrow, or some event travel, whether it's com days or going further afield for live events. It would not be possible without all of your support. So genuinely, thank you so very much indeed. Tomorrow, Pidove will be streaming the spot hour at 6 p.m. BST. And of course, Zacian, don't forget you can join me for that raid hour on the Wednesday. Pop a comment below with your in-game name and your friend code included. Last chance to get your shiny Zacian before it disappears. And then, October the 4th brings in shiny Zamazenta and shiny Galarian, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. We're gonna be out on that Thursday grinding for hours, roar of time into the maximum, well, maybe six or eight hours. Let's find out how it goes. But if you enjoyed this video, do go and check out either one of those on your screen. You can check out a daily incense challenge or something else up there. And of course, while you're at it, go and drop a download to the Incensed podcast. Episode 190 released yesterday for me, and we had Caleb Peng on, the PvP goat <laughs> of all things. So it was awesome to have him on for a chat. Definitely go and drop it a download if you can do. But I'll say until the next time, do take care.